Hi everybody, this is Felicia. Here's my bingo card. I'm going to be using the far right column, washi gold, ephemera pack, tags, and punches. And here is a sketch that I got that is by Sketch Savvy, and I am going to be using it as my inspiration. So here, you're going to see me pick up the washi tape. So here's the washi tape, the ephemera, and the gold. And there's the tags that I'm going to be using on the layout as well, and then the punch. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with putting this layout together for today using that sketch by Sketch Savvy and the designer is Susan String Fellow. So now I'm going to get my layers together here. I'm trying to figure out which layers I want and I'm trying to figure that out. It is hard. Sorry about that. That was my Mac. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out what I want and how I want this to be layered. So what I'm doing is I got about a few cards there and I went to go get, I think I went to go get um, some, I did, I actually went to go get my cutter and then I'm also going to go get some extra paper here as well. So um, I have my layout kind of, you know, deciphered on what I want and, and then I'm going to start building up my layers here in a second. So I'm going to take the photo and I'm going to mount it here on this yellow cardstock. Well, not really mount it, but this is going to be part of the background. And I'm going to put that on there. So this photo, I'll tell you a little bit while I'm getting the layers together here. This photo is a photo of the town center bridge, which is located over the, it goes over the Sacramento River. And um, if you've ever been to Sacramento, then you've probably seen that bridge. That bridge is now the symbol of West Sacramento, which is the section that I live in. And so I biked from where I live to that town center bridge, actually to the Capitol, actually, which is down the street from the town center bridge. And um, it's about 16 and a half miles round trip. Now I'm trying to um, build up my biking again because um, I have to. I was told not to run anymore, so I can't run anymore. Oh, how sad. I actually loved running. I've done the, um, a, a full marathon, a half marathon, and some small little uh, 5Ks and 10K races. But now it's time for me to hang up my running shoes and stay on my bike, which I think is going to be better anyway because I'm not only getting cardio, but I'm also getting resistance and cardio at the same time and so whereas running you mo you mainly get cardio so here i'm going to be using my fiskars punch so this is part of the bingo card and i'm going to be using the scalloped open end edge of this punch now once i do not know how to use this punch the other side way so pardon me if it looks kind of ridiculous <laughs> i'm sorry but i do not i've seen everybody do it and i just for some reason cannot do it so i just flip it upside down and kind of match it up with the open side there anyway so now that i've punched this strip it's going to go down that side that is the strip that is called for on the sketch but i'm going to cut that strip though a little bit down I'm also going to cut these layers down a little bit too because uh, they just weren't exactly what the size that I needed. So um, I had to cut them down a little bit. So I got the strip cut down, which is going to go in the back and anchor these layers. And then I'm also going to be using some washi tape. And that is part of my bingo card as well. And it just so happens to be gold. So I'm going to be using that strip of washi tape to put in the back there along the edge of that uh, scallop strip that I punched out there. So you can see me here trying to figure out uh, <laughs> how much to cut off and how, much, how thick I want the layers. So I'm building the layers up right now and I'm getting them all built up and trying to figure out how I want this layout to be and how I want it to set up and how I want the layers to be. And then um, I, need, I went to go get a, another piece of pattern paper from out of one of my pattern paper pads because it was something definitely missing. And I'm going to go and get that here in a minute once I figure out how I want this photo. Now the sketch calls for a mm, horizontal photo, but I decided to use a vertical photo because I like the way that photo looks because the bridge looks a lot longer than it really is because of the way I took the photo, but it's really not that long. <laughs> and I was really surprised on how that photo came out. So, you know, I was like, oh, this is cool. This bridge looks really, really long. But 
It really isn't. So now I've glued in and got my uh, layers all glued up here. And now I'm going to go ahead after I change the tape, that is, and get this down. I hate when that happens, <laughs> when the tape runs out right in the middle of doing a video, because then I got to pause it, because I don't want you to watch me put the tape on there. So I'm going to pick out some washi tape here, and I'm going to pick out this nice, really super glittery gold washi tape here that I want along the edge there. So I'm going to put that down and, and just, you know, see how that looks. And I think I'm going to put this down on the one chance there, and I normally don't do that. And, and it worked, so I just, it worked, and so I'm just going to leave it there. I like how that looks. So now I got my layers back on top, and then I am going to figure out how I want these layers, and then I'm also going to figure out um, how I want the little stitch it's to go down. So the sketch, if you look closely, it calls for a stitch line. So I'm going to do a stitch line here down the side using my ruler, little dash lines. You can see me doing that there. I actually didn't do it that fast because <laughs> it's just sped up. <laughs> so I'm going to do that down the side there. And so those are going to be my stitch lines for now because I'm not really going to stitch. And then the closest biggest circle I could find was this <laughs> CD. And so I decided to go ahead and trace around this CD and kind of make them offset kind of like little messy not necessarily one straight circle, but kind of overlapping each other. <laughs> and I thought that was pretty funny because, to be honest with you, I really forgot that I was during a video <laughs> when I used that. I was like, oh, it's too late now. <laughs> but um, that gives me the design that I want and that I'm going for as far as the sketch is concerned. I decided to go ahead and do two big circles that are the same size um, on this layout because I know I want the circles to be seen and I want to make sure that they are seen once I put everything on top. And then I decided to go do a little bitty circle off center from that at the top here as well. So I'm just using a piece of pattern paper that I had cut out a while ago. So there, so that's the look I was going for. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue my photo down of the bridge here and I'm putting that on and trying to get it straight that is. So got that you know, kind of straight there. And now I'm going to go ahead and commit to putting this photo down right where I want it, which is right smack in the middle. Hopefully it's not crooked to you guys because it looks a little crooked to me, but it's okay. Um, nothing can be really perfect in scrapbooking, although we want it to be. So now I'm going through the ephemera, and there's a few pieces that I had looked at and wanted on there. And... And I'm going to use this cactus, which has nothing to do with the photo, but it's going on there. Because <laughs> I don't see myself using the cactus for anything else. <laughs> and then I'm going to put that little piece of flower there up the top there, or clover. I don't know what that is. It's kind of like a palm leaf, I think it is. One of those big palm leaves. Kind of looks like it. Um, but I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to use the little sign down the bottom saying itinerary. itinerary. And I'm looking for a few other pieces to put in there. As you can see, I'm just kind of going through here and, and just ciphering. Um, let me see, what am I doing? Yeah, ciphering through it or whatever. We're going through it. <laughs> so now I'm going to pick out a tag, maybe more than one tag. I might pick out maybe two tags, three tags. I would like to put three tags down here, but we'll see how that looks. I think I only have enough space really for two tags. And I'm using these tags because I want them to be able to still see the background on the layout here. So that's why I'm using the um, acetate tags here so you can still see the background of the layout circles there, which I still want to be seen. So as you can see, you can still see it when you put the tag down. And that's what I was going for. And so I decided to go ahead and use maybe two tags there, I think. Yeah. And then I also found these little two pieces while I was digging in there. I'm going to go ahead and use those two um, kind of like little starbursts, I guess. That's what those are. And um, that's it. I'm going to put on layout as far as tags are concerned. I was looking for something on there. My title. Um, I'm still thinking about my title at this point, and I haven't really... I have a, the space for it, but I haven't really figured out exactly what I wanted it to be. Because this, this bicycle ride 
I mean, eight, and a, what was it, almost eight and a half miles there to the bridge. It was really, really nice it, that morning. And see, we've been having really high, high temperatures. And so I decided to go ahead and do that bike ride early in the morning. And uh, that way I can avoid a lot of the heat, which was great. So I think it were, uh, the bridge, I went over that bridge around about seven-ish, I think it was, because I got out pretty early um, to get on that bike ride. So. So there goes a little itinerary tag at the bottom, and then I'm going to be using the this one. These are kind of like layered um, chipboard pieces from Pink Fresh Studios, I think that is from. And then um, I think I decided to go ahead and just use those few pieces. And so now I'm going to work on the title and because I love biking so much, it really relaxes me when I do do it. Um, I think it's fun. A lot of people don't think so because of the seat and the way it is. But you do wear special shorts for that. Um, so, I mean, you don't necessarily have to wear regular clothes. You can if you want to, but for a distance like that, it's best that you wear the recommended biking shorts that come, um, that you're supposed to wear to protect um that bone in the back there, the bone that you sit on there. I forgot what that was called. I used to know what that was called too. Gee whiz. <laughs> I need a refresher course here. <laughs> anyway, so I thought it was fun. So I'm going to put down here as my title fun trip because it was to me. Um, like I said, most people won't think so, but it was. So you and you can see I'm having a hard time there with that little the dot that goes on over the eye. <laughs> so now I'm going to put the title down here and I am kind of staggering it a little bit so it's not going to be all in one line but um the fun is a little bit above the the word trip and so that's what I'm going to be doing with that just kind of staggering it a little bit. I'm I'm never one for getting any alphas on straight so I just learned how to just go with the flow and just stagger them most of the time so and there I got the dot on there I didn't have to struggle too much with that. So now I got the title down there and I'm going to use these hearts here also that are in that pack because that really actually helps the layout a little bit there instead of circles. Although the sketch cost for circles, I'm using hearts instead. So now I got most of this done here. And I think I am going to start with the Heidi swap. Of course, you know, I'm almost done when I use the, the mist there. <laughs> that is my staple right there. <laughs> so I'm using some droplets. I'm put quite a bit of droplets here. Um, and then I'm going to put some at the top there diagonally so that your eye kind of flows from the top down over to the corner. Because that's usually what you do when you do that. Your eyes actually flow from wherever you put those dots down and then wherever the rest of the dots or the sprinkles end up at. So, All right, I am done with this layout. And please, by all means, check out Christina's channel and see what she's come up with the bingo card on her end. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.